Hello, dear friends. I have always been fascinated by the subject of hidden mortals. Opinion piece. Immortal alchemists, invisible communities. They live under the mountains. The Siddhas of Hinduism, the Mahasiddhas of Buddhism, the eight mortals of China, legends of Shambhala and Agartha, the alchemical brotherhood of Heliopolis, unknown brothers of the city of the sun. Let's start. In the folklore and mythology of various cultures, there are references to communities or groups of immortal or semi-divine beings who possess secret knowledge, special abilities, or the ability to transmute substances. These stories are associated with alchemy and may have elements of mysticism and esotericism. These communities of, of immortal beings are said to inhabit mountains areas and are visible to the humankind eye invisible to the humankind eye because they live in another higher frequency. However, the positive spiritual energy emanating from these communities of enlightened beings can be perceived in the vicinity of each community, and sometimes even supernatural phenomena are observed. Others say that they live underground in secret tunnels. They are also mentioned in the legend of Agartha a legendary underground city mentioned in various traditions, especially in esotericism and theosophy. It is said to be inhabited by mortal and spiritual advanced beings who possess alchemical and technological knowledge. Heliopolis. France is the most alchemical country in Europe, and Alexander Jodorowsky speaks of the alchemical brotherhood of Heliopolis. Most of the medieval alchemists would have passed through this secret order, and during the 20th century, figures such as the painter Julien Champagne, Pierre Duyols, Eugène Cancillet, and Fulcanelli have been members of this fraternity. But let us not forget that the art of alchemy was introduced to Europe through the civilization of Al-Andalus, which in turn imported it from Alexandria, Egypt. The alchemical brotherhood of Heliopolis is a concept attributed to Fulcanelli, the mysterious 20th century French alchemist. Fulcanelli called them the unknown brothers of the mysterious city of the sun. Heliopolis, which means city of the sun in Greek, is a symbolic reference to the ancient Egyptian city of Heliopolis, known for its worship of the sun. According to Fulcanelli, this brotherhood is a secret organization of alchemists that existed throughout history and is dedicated to the pursuit and practice of alchemy, as well as the transmutation of metals and the search for spiritual wisdom. Ulcanelli spoke of the alchemical brotherhood of Heliopolis in his work The Mystery of the Cathedrals. Heliopolis symbolizes the light, wisdom and divinity associated with the sun in various esoteric traditions. It represents the path to enlightenment and spiritual transformation, concepts central to alchemy and other esoteric philosophies. The sun has been revered and worshipped in many cultures throughout history because of its vital influence on nature and humankind's life. It has been associated with solar deities in various mythologies and religions. Heliopolis is used as a symbolic representation of the alchemical process of transmutation and the search for spiritual perfection. The alchemical sun is often represented by a circle in the dot in the center and is, is a symbol of the primordial source of energy and the spiritual knowledge. Fulcanelli's identity is kept secret and has not, been gen has not been conclusively revealed. Some have suggested that Fulcanelli may be a collective pseudonym used by a group of hermetic philosophers, while others 
have proposed several names as possible candidates. Among the names mentioned as possible identities for Fuccanelli are the French researchers and writers Eugène Cancelier and Jean-Julien Champagne. Both had a close relationship with Fulcanelli and promoted his work, but there is no definitive evidence that they are the same person behind the pseudonym. References Examples of mythological and folkloric references that could relate to invisible communities of immortal alchemists are the cedars in Hinduism and Buddhism. Cedars are considered to be enlightened or semi-divine beings. They are said to possess supernatural abilities, secret knowledge and the ability to transform substances. They are often associated with alchemy and the quest for immortality. In Chinese mythology, there are tales of immortal beings known as the Eight Immortals. These beings are said to possess supernatural abilities and alchemical knowledge and to inhabit an invisible realm. The philosopher's stone is a legendary element associated with alchemy, an ancient practice that seeks the transmutation of substances and the parsit of spiritual wisdom. According to alchemical lore, the philosopher's stone has the ability to transform ordinary metals into gold and confer immortality or longevity. The Siddhas in Hinduism and Buddhism, Siddhas are revered figures who are considered to be enlightened or semi-divine beings. The word Siddha comes from Sanskrit and translates as achieved or realized. Siddhas are recognized as having attained an advanced state of spiritual knowledge, supernatural powers and liberation from the cycle of birth and death. In the Hindu context, Siddhas are considered sages and the spiritual masters who have attained a state of enlightenment, moksha, and have acquired profound knowledge about the nature of reality and consciousness. They are attributed with extraordinary abilities, such as the ability to fly, shapeshift and perform miracles. They are also believed to possess alchemical and herb herbal knowledge for healing and longevity. In Buddhism, Siddhas are known as Mahasiddhas, who are enlightened beings who have attained supreme realization and liberation from suffering. Mahasiddhas are considered to have mastered the teachings and developed unique spiritual methods and practices to achieve enlightenment. Their stories and teachings are an important part of Tantric Buddhism and are credited with transmitting esoteric teachings and performing miracles. In both traditions, the Siddhas are revered as spiritual royal models and sources of inspiration for practitioners aspiring to attain enlightenment and spiritual growth. Their stories, teaching and practices are often transmitted through writings, oral histories and specific traditions. The Siddhas represent the possibilities of spiritual transformation and the realization of the highest human potential. Chinese mythology. In Chinese mythology, the immortals are divine or semi-divine beings who have attained immortality through spiritual and alchemical practices. These immortals are known as the Eight Immortals or Ba Xian and are considered important figures in the Taoist tradition. Each of them has supernatural abilities and symbolizes different aspects of the spiritual path. The following is a brief mention of the most well known eight immortals. Thang Goulao. He is depicted as an old man with a flood who can revive the death and travel at a great speed on a donkey that can fold into small size. Song Li Guang. Depicted as a middle aged man with a fan and is attributed with healing abilities and the ability to raise the dead. Lu Dongbing. He is often depicted as an elegant young monk and is considered one of the most revered immortals. He is said to possess sweatsmanship and wisdom. Cao Guo Hu. 
He was a noble man in his mortal life and is considered the patron of musicians. He is depicted as a man of major age with a tablet of authority. Li Tie Wai. He is depicted as an old lame man with one leg and a magic guard containing the elixir of immortality. He is distinguished by his wisdom and the healing abilities. Hang Xianzi. He is considered a musician, a musical prodigy, and is depicted as a young man with a flute. It is said that he can attract evil spirits with his music. Lang Kaihe, often depicted as an androgynous figure and dressed in shabby clothes. He is known for his cheerfulness and his ability to see beyond outward appearances. He Xianju, she is the only female of the eight immortals. She is described as a beautiful young woman who wears lotus flowers and possesses healing and purification abilities. These eight immortals are repaired in Taoism and are attributed with spiritual powers and teachings related to immortality and wisdom. Their presence in Chinese mythology has influenced spiritual practices, literature and art over centuries. Shambhala Shambhala has its roots in Buddhist traditions and is mentioned in ancient Tibetan texts and sacred scriptures. It is considered a sacred and mystical place associated with higher spiritual teachings. The exact location of Shambhala is uncertain and has remained a mystery over the centuries. According to traditions, Shambhala is said to be located somewhere remote, usually in the Himalayas or in the northern in the northern regions of Asia. Shambhala is described as a utopian land, a realm of wisdom and compassion. It is considered a place ruled by a writers and spiritually evolved king. The legend of Shambhala speaks of lofty spiritual teachings and the promise of an era of peace and spiritual transformation for those who seek the path to this sacred land. Agartha Agartha and Shambhala are two different concepts found in different traditions and legends. Although both are associated with occult and mystical realms, there are differences in their origins and characteristics. Agartha is described as an underground realm, while Shambhala comes from Buddhist traditions and is considered a sacred realm somewhere remote. Both concepts are associated with the quest for wisdom and the spiritual transformation, but are found in different contexts and have distinctive characteristics. The legend of Akata is an ancient belief that holds the existence of an underground city or hidden realm within the earth. Akata is described as a place of, of advanced wisdom and knowledge, inhabited by enlightened and spiritually evolved being, beings. These beings are said to possess technology and wisdom that surpasses humankind's capabilities. The legend of Akata has its roots in theosophy and esoteric beliefs of the 19th century. According to legend, Agartha is said to be located deep within the earth in an underground city or hidden realm. The exact location of Agartha varies according to different versions and accounts but it has been associated with places such as the Himalayas, Tibet and other remote locations. According to legend, Agatha is said to be a place of advanced wisdom and knowledge inhabited by enlightened and spiritual, spiritually evolved beings. These beings are said to possess technology and an understanding of the universe that far surpasses humankind's capabilities. Agatha is believed to be a realm of peace and harmony, free from conflict and suffering. The legend of Agatha has been popularized by the writer Helena Blavatsky, founder of the Theosophical Society, who claimed that Agatha was the center of occult wisdom and the source of the world's spiritual teachings. According to her account, Agatha would be located in the Himalayas and would be accessible through secret passages or entrances in various parts of the world. Over time, the legend of Akata has been enriched 
with accounts of encounters with beings from Agartha, descriptions of their advanced technology, and accounts of journeys and explorations into this subterranean realm. News or breaking news. The G7 is losing steam to the G20 and BRICS. The Santis formally files to run for president and Trump calls him disloyal. Singa Taina Tara dies in Switzerland at the age of 83. Europe faces a growing shortage of skilled labor. The Rainbow family has set up camp in Benaut, Kath, a village in Cadiz, Spain, and will not leave until the new moon. The Rainbow family is a countercultural and community movement that originated in the 70s in the USA. They meet regularly in rainbow gatherings in natural spaces. It is characterized by its focus on peace, harmony, spiritually, and connection with nature. Its principles include non-violence, equality, mutual respect, and care for the environment and the promotion of healthy lifestyles. Belarus wants to abandon the dollar and the euro in trade with Eurasian Economic Union countries by 2023. Russian oil replaces Persian Gulf black gold in, on the Indian market. J.P. Morgan hits the panic bottom, ups the ante on gold and liquidity. Opinions Juan Osavin says there is going to be economic trauma on the other side of this, but it is going to be a corruption-free economy. This is not an argumentum because we are going to get to the other side of this dance. Goldilocks says debt ceiling is at the top of the agenda. We still don't have an agreement and there is talk of extending these talks for a couple more weeks. The concern is that markets will start to react if it is delayed. European markets are done with the debt ceiling deal still pending. The dollar is rising after further rate hikes. Gold falls on hopes of a debt deal supporting the dollar. Oil falls on concerns about the debt ceiling. GDP indicates a slower growth rate for the economy. Pepe Leaf's mother says, I know the news has been negative lately and that many people are upset to continually see injustice with no apparent solution. If you are feeling down, take it a step further and try to think about what's best in your life right now. Puffness said, there is a lot of movement at the moment. The bankers are moving to slow down the digital apparatus for a while. They are not ready and don't have the ancillary system in place to make it work. The bankers think it is too much, too fast the way they are moving through the trenches. Hopefully, some whistleblower will be able to provide the essential data to unlock some records, and if that happens, you would see a quicker reckoning. It is all up to the bankers, in this case, so we can't make any promises. I just know that a significant event occurred. Ultraviolet light reveals a hidden chapter of the Bible more than 1,500 years later. Americas. Massive march in Argentina against IMF imposed austerity measures. Child poverty affects more than 60% of children and adolescents in Argentina. AMLO does not accept any hegemonic domination neither from Russia nor from China, nor from the USA. Gas service suspended in the Colombian coffee growing region due to the presence of gases and incandescent rock in the Cerro Bravo volcano. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.